Hi, it's Pascal, and this is Everything Art. I'm going to help you how to learn how to draw in Photoshop. CC 2017. So when you open Photoshop, you're going to see this. Confusing menu, just click on New because we're going to start a new sketch. And go ahead, click on Art and Illustrations because you're an artist, not a photographer unless you are. And click on 200, 2000. And I changed my background color because I don't like it drawing on a wet background and it's not good for your eyes looking at something white for a long period of time so just click create it's going to create this canvas now photoshop open and you have so many different buttons and you're like oh my god what i'm about to do so on your right hand side you got your color and your layers at the bottom of the color you got the layer so that layer you can add layer remove layer do whatever and you go back to your brushes you're gonna have your brush tool. Let's go to the brush tool. All right, click on brush, and that you have different brushes. If you don't have this on your screen, if you don't have brushes, click on window and make sure you have everything checked that I have checked on my screen. If you can pause the video, if you need to check everything, make sure you have everything that I have checked. So click on that, and we're gonna use essential, not photography. Make sure you and we'll click on the brush too. Before we start drawing, you pick your brush that you want to draw with. After you pick your brush, and this is what we're gonna do. I gotta remove this whole way. Alright. I'm gonna remove this because it's getting in the way. Let's remove that. Turn off. Okay. And go back. We're gonna add a layer. If you didn't see that, you click. At the bottom of the layer you add a layer we're gonna draw on this layer and this layer gonna you can choose whatever color you want to draw with that's where you choose color uh, and that's the color wheel you can move it up and down see like what color you want to do but I want to draw with brown a little dark brown red something similar to that because you can draw whatever you want to draw with it's up to you and you can right click on your uh, stylus or your mouse if you want to pull out the menu or change the size of the brush but right now I'm gonna just do gesture simple gesture nothing big yeah I recommend that you practice drawing in Photoshop because the more you practice the better you get at it and there's no one way to actually do something it's not like it's set in stone you can do it so many different ways so after this just go great edit and free transform to change the form because I wanted to fit the screen and I have it's too big and I'm not gonna draw something really big so after that after I free transform it you got to reduce the opacity we're gonna go back to layer and we're gonna click on opacity we we'll click on the gesture layer and we're gonna reduce the opacity. We're gonna reduce the opacity to some 50, 50 something. Uh, reduce the opacity in a way that you can see it, but it's not gone. It's not gonna interfere with your next painting. And I'm gonna draw over the next layer. That's this one I actually start drawing my idea of what I wanna draw. Whatever you imagine it, whatever in your head is when you start drawing it. This is called my form layer gesture form then I go to the final one it's three step every time I draw in Photoshop I use this three step to draw everything you're seeing on my YouTube because it's faster and this art just took me about 22 minutes to complete it wasn't that long period of time but I'm not gonna set you down for 23 minutes looking at me draw really slow so I speed up the video for you guys so just go ahead practice in the next video i'm gonna go over how to use the color wheel and how to actually color your artwork because i find that a lot of artists they draw stuff but they don't know how to color it what color to use i mean i'm not the best at choosing color but i can help you with a simple idea that i use and you can use it and it's going to help you better color your artwork if you coloring the artwork and it look completely fake or uh, you don't really like the way it turned it out 
It don't even look realistic or fake realistic. But just go ahead. I'm just going to keep on drawing the form. If you want to draw the same thing I'm drawing on here, you can go ahead. Slow the video down. Pause the video and try to get everything that you see. If you actually like that, it's up to you. Like the same thing. Go to edit, free transform, and keep on. Make sure your artwork fit the gesture. The only time you start to change your not not used to gesture is when you doing like your your fourth layer after your background gesture form the fourth layer which is the last one which i call my final layer i didn't go to art school so bear with me please i don't know these terms and all term like i'm just helping you on the way i do it and the way i thought myself so after that i'm gonna just I keep on drawing whatever just keep on drawing whatever but please please though some of y'all haven't yet please subscribe to this youtube channel because i'm gonna be covering everything art including art software even software that's not art i was thinking about um creating a 3d art in autodex inventing if you, i might do that i don't know but you can look forward to that but now we're gonna just keep on drawing and if you want to erase I think I'm using the surface pro 2 to draw so all I got to do is turn the pencil around and I can erase but there's a eraser tool on your brush on your tool session where your brush is just go over the tool it's gonna say erase and you can choose a eraser if you want to erase something Capiche. Who says stuff like that? Come on, man. Let me talk. No. Oh, I'm just joking. But just keep on drawing like I am right now. I think this, it seems like I'm struggling, but come on. I don't, I'm not good at drawing creature and all stuff. I, I'm a realistic, more sub real kind of guy. Yeah, that's how most of my hard work turned out sub real yeah I'm just so, so after I do this I don't like the way the head look I think the head look too small for our body so we're gonna change that we're gonna click the lasso tool circle the head and click edit go to free transform and you can change the size to whatever this is the thing with digital you don't have to erase the whole thing to change it you got so many tools at your hand it's not like you gotta go do some extra thing or find an eraser even sometimes you join you don't have an eraser mm, get rid of that I used the text because it wasn't gonna move easy and I'm gonna drop down the opacity on my form layer so that I can go over it later on Ooh, sorry about that in the next video leave a comment what you want to see and I'm gonna get on that so I dropped the opacity on the form layer and I changed my brush to a really hard brush. And this is the brush that came on Photoshop. And I'm just going over it. That's basically it. So please leave a comment. We're going to go to the next video where we color this. And you can learn how to color the everything art way. Man. This why the video go by and you watching this. I'm going to say something real quick. And it's about going to art school and not going to art school. I don't know. I actually want to go to art school, but I'm thinking, what am I going to learn in art school? I, I self taught myself most of this stuff. And I'm like, I think I'm pretty good and I'm better than some people who actually went to art school. So, uh, I don't know. But I'm going to art school for video game design. And that's something I got to look forward to. I'm going to be helping you guys how to create games in the nearest future. So, please subscribe if you want to stay tuned to this YouTube with everything art. That's why I call it everything art because it's going to cover everything art. Everything. I even had a guy how to custom my Timberlands video. One day you might see me singing. I'm really good. Check this out. Love can be beautiful. Ooh. Baby, come on.
Come on, give me one. I love the way she makes me. Mm. I'm just messing with you. I'm the worst ever. If I actually made a YouTube that actually oh, it's all about singing, <laughs> would you would you subscribe? Based on my voice, listen. Uh, uh, yeah. I like the way she moves it. Ooh, baby, come on, give it to me. <laughs> that was terrible. I think I might not even upload that in the video, but have fun. Just draw, keep on drawing, practicing. That's the best thing you can do. Like, I know. Don't actually be like, I need someone to help me, help me. There's so many sources on YouTube you can use for help. In the next video, I might cover it. It's going to be in Autodesk Sketchbook. <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to draw in Autodesk Sketchbook. <laughs> because if I find a video that I don't like, I have to cover it. Then I'm going to create a video. But if I do find a video that's actually covered, I'm not going to make a video about it. <laughs> because that's just... That is not good. Another artist did it. He did it really good. And why would you want to make a video? Like you can do it better. Uh huh. Huh. Yeah, check it out. But uh, check it out. You know, for the shy kid, you walking in the hallway and it's like everyone's staring at you. What you gonna do? But this is the final. This is the final sketch. I can't wait. Thank you for watching. Capiche, capiche.